dog niggas with the long rap shit. I'm a hood bitch. I like it nasty. Like these women will be rappers, right? They all about their business when they're rapping and they're rapping and they're rapping. And but don't, don't nobody want to hear them rap. So what they start doing is posting a little bit more ass cheek, a little bit more sad titty. And that's what happens. They keep going and they keep going and they keep going until they busting it wide open for a real G on their OnlyFans. Let's just keep it real out here. Y'all know the women I'm talking about. You see them, they're wholesome. And then a year later, they are butt naked on their story talking about Link in bio so man don't come to me talking about men make these women do this what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel i am your host dutch the black non-democrat before the video starts can you please make sure that you hit that like button so this video can get shared around youtube and the algorithm can start putting some respect on my name i seem to have struck a nerve in certain people on youtube and to these people look I am all here for debate. I am all here for coming to an understanding. But at the end of the day, you have to take a step back and look at these comments sometime, man, and realize that these people really can't comprehend or just convince themselves of certain ideologies that um, is, is just downright laughable. And we're going to address some of these comments today on this video. Now, to all due respect to these people, they didn't disrespect or anything. I'm not going. I'm not saying that. This is a, a channel of you know opinionated um, commentary where I can accept someone else's um, opposite opinion of mine. We're not talking about that. We're just talking about the logic behind what's being said. I got a comment on a video I did the other day, and that video is going um, semi-viral right now, and I appreciate all of the people who's coming to that video and giving their opinion and liking the video, and on top of that, understanding, for the most part, what I was trying to say. And it's basically talking about today's women losing self-respect. And the thing is, about that whole ordeal is, it's not bashing women it's pointing out dysfunctional behavior within a group of people just like women do to men all the time and some of the things we have to just accept how men treat women how men look at women how men run society if it's good if it's bad we have to literally get critiqued and accept it but a lot of women out here and a lot of men as you're going to see in these comments they tend to not even understand that if you dish it, you have to give it. And on one comment, this guy actually said, it's men's fault that women are dysfunctional. And we're going to get to that comment first. And this actual comment comes from a man, Mr. East Africa. He says, women only do what men force them to do. What they are is what men make them become. Who controls the world? Us men. So I responded to the person. I said, so with that logic, women are not to be held accountable for their actions because men somehow force them to act like whores, sluts and perverted individuals with no moral compass. It's all due to men. You just publicly said this, so that means you have already convinced yourself that this is true. So nothing I say here will convince you otherwise. So with that said, thanks for your comment. Maybe someone will see it and try their hand at letting you know that that's the most ridiculous comment ever typed. See, 
I don't I don't know if this man was actually for real. And if this was a troll or not, it's still people out there like toxic feminists that really think that men control the behavior of these quote unquote women because I don't call them women. I call them females. They are just females that exist in the world because at the end of the day, they decide to make their lifestyle as a slut lifestyle. They decide to be whores in their life. They decide to wear this scampy outfit out to the club and get drunk and have all of these men gawking over them in their comment section, on Instagram, on Facebook, all over social media. These people go to OnlyFans to create an account to literally get on camera and show everything they have to you with one little payment of $9.99 every month or something like that. But at the end of the day, they decide to do this. Men don't decide to do it for them. They understand that men like seeing these things. And what they do is, okay, I'm going to capitalize off these men wanting to see me naked. So that's what I'll do. I'll go get an OnlyFans. The thing is, I done watch women literally evolve to the only fans or let's just say devolve to the only fans you'll be watching them too you'll be seeing them post and you know they're just posting wholesome things they're just posting little tidbits of their life but they're not getting any likes they're not getting any comments and next week you'll see them show a little bit more skin and they getting a little bit more comments, but they understand what it is. I've seen women go from wholesome to whole real quick within a year, especially in the hip hop industry. These women will be rappers, right? They all about their business when they're rapping and they're rapping and they're rapping. And but don't, don't nobody want to hear them rap. So what they start doing is posting a little bit more ass cheek, a little bit more sad titty. And that's what happens. They keep going and they keep going and they keep going until they busting it wide open for a real G on their OnlyFans. Let's just keep it real out here. Y'all know the women I'm talking about. You see them, they're wholesome. And then a year later, they are butt naked on their story talking about Link in bio so man don't come to me talking about men make these women do this no that is all bullshit and that comment is like i said the worst comment ever typed man but y'all go down in the comment section and tell me what you think man on this topic and the other topics that i bring up on this channel as well and like i said if you guys are y'all stay unplugged from false narrative because that's what false narratives actually looks like that guy saying men make women do these things i'm out y'all go down in the comment section like this video share it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace